Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarander, and uh, today we're actually just going to talk a bit about, well, uh, my match in the Lithio. Uh, I do record this on Saturday, we're going to have this battle hopefully on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to go up against the top dog of the Delta Division, be in uh, Cincinnati Sylveons, gonna butcher that quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, she's, um, she's not a pocket tuber, but a very, very respectable battler. Um, she was in uh, the like no draft division thingy that LBI was a part of. I think uh, David D Train and um, Tyler was a part of that too. Um, sadly, I guess you should say I don't really recall uh, Tyler's name here in the Lithio, but he's the admin of it. So um, yeah, that really comes out of weird. But we are at least going up against her, and um, she has only have one loss so far. And four wins, and I have yet to actually check her out and check her battles out. I probably won't avoid it completely, to be honest. Um, I really just want to focus on my own game. I decided to drop three Pokemon before this battle, and I dropped um, uh, Scissor, I dropped uh, Confagrigus, and I dropped Espeon, uh, and basically brought pokes that uh, I know works in my favor, uh, which being Sigilith, my Guard Chomp, and Magnusome, which are Pokemon I am accustomed to. And I felt that my previous loss against Murkrow was. Definitely that I did not play as well as I should have, but also, of course, that I use Pokemon that I'm not really familiar with, and in contrast to everything else, it just comes off as uh, a big issue for me to plan ahead. So, um, yeah, with that said, we're actually going to just go ahead and look at my part. As you guys see, that 6-0 against Murkrow really stands out as, uh, well, unfortunate, uh, to say the least. But it is what it is. You know, I took that battle after... Um, after work and it probably didn't prepare as I should have and the result kind of reflects that. A 6-0 feels kind of kind of tough but at the same time you know <laughs> we have to deal with that. Uh, so as for right now we are at a one win and four losses. Being that I have won one and lost one individually. Um, as I said before I took over a team before and um, I just have to work with what I have and hopefully you know things comes around anyway as of my team I don't really know what to bring in this battle um, gonna avoid chancing Keldeo yet again only because there are major threats I do think my opponent gonna see coming uh, I'm actually just gonna look at her team going in here we have actually Mega Venusaur which has had five kills and one death seems like that is gonna be a part of that team she has used it a lot uh, Rodan Wash is very good against my team, so definitely seen that one. Laudios, or La yeah, Laudios, hmm. Not sure if she's gonna bring that one. It, it's fast lead. I think it outspeeds my whole team without the sad. I think 110 base speed, yeah. I don't believe I have anything for that. Um, Entei, ah, uh, I don't see her using that. I don't. Umbreon could be a toughie. Um, I don't have anything that hits that thing hard besides Dedene, or no, no not the Anji. Um, Nidoking kills seven, wow. Only one death. That's, that's scary. Um, Nidoking is definitely going to be here. Let's see, we got Mega Venusaur, Rotom, Nidoking, uh, Kubalion. Ooh, Kubalion could be tough. Kubalion could be really tough. That's a given. That's a given. Um, I need Magnet Pull on Magnuson. Just because of that. I really do. Um, that's it. Um, <clears throat> hopefully it isn't that extreme offensive set. Uh, that is definitely going to be a part of this battle. Um, Hitmon Top. Nah. Could be dangerous. I mean, it has to intimidate, which kind of shut down the team, but... Nah, I don't I don't see that. A mill Tank. Ah... Uh, don't think it helps this battle. It's it's fast. <laughs> Actually, it's faster than, than a lot of my pokes. I think military has a 180 base, maybe. I think that's about enough in this tier, or against me, too. Because I have a, quite a slow team, to be honest. And Guard War. Guard War has 80 base speed, too. Not that dangerous. Uh, unless it's specs. Um, <clears throat> thinking about it, I, I am. I know that Mega Venusaur, Rodan Wash, Nidoking, Kubalium must be a part of this. I think... She gotta use Laudios. By the speed alone, she must use Laudios. Uh, so it's gonna come down to Umbreon, Hitmontop, Militank, Gardevoir. Uh, 
Nah, I'm feeling Umbreon, because I don't have any any dedicated fighting type of my team, which means that the Enchi is the only Pokemon that could fend that off. Um, and if she makes a special defensive, I'm going to have a lot of trouble. Just by that alone, I think I'll avoid the Enchi completely. Um, I don't like that situation. Uh, Cobalion is a part of that, and I really don't like using Dianchi if Cobalion is a thing. Cobalion just eradicates my my poor guy. Um, yeah, definitely gonna avoid that. Um, like I said, Mega Venusaur, Rolling Wash, Lodios, Umbreon, Nidoking, Cobalion. That is easily gonna be her choice. Now, I have I know that Nidoking uh, is slower than Garchomp, um, my Mega Garchomp that is. But I also know that if uh, if is, she is timid and I'm adamant, then she will be able to outspeed by six points. So I need to have a jolly guard jump, which I'm not that favorable of. Uh, I don't suspect her to be scarfed, rather life orb. Life orb just dents my team completely. Uh, I need a power down. Uh, he probably can take a Draco from uh, Lodios if that's the case. Uh, he's not going to live that well. If it is Specs, he's not going to live it. But uh, that's the only thing that Okoing it. So knowing that, I need a power down. Stoutland is given this battle. Uh, like I said, Magnusone is definitely given. I need Ma Magnusone for um, uh, going for Magnapole, hoping that she doesn't have Volt Switch on his on on her Cobalion. And Sigilyph. You know what? Sigilyph could actually do some numbers here. Sigilyph natural outspeeds um, Nidoking. Which would mean that Psychic kills Venusaur, Energy Ball kills Rotom, Dazzling Gleam for Lodios, Umbreon, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic. The only thing standing against Sigilyph is Cavalion, actually. Yes, yes, I need. Sigilyph is gonna be a win condition here. It hurts everything a lot. Magnuson only for Cavalion, Stoutland just for having something when things aren't working. So we got you, you, you. Must have a power down too. So two more Pokemons. May I guard jump? Like I said, I need the power. Um, I'm not outspeeding Lodios. And if this Specs is going to take me out, or she is going to take me out. But um, yeah, I don't really see that one happening. Um, what more I need? The thing is, I could go for Thunders. But uh, Cobalion could have set up rocks, and then I can't really use Thunders properly. And uh, like I said, really want to avoid these two, both Chansey and Kildeo. Um, Chansey could have a rough time here. Uh, Kildeo still won't outspeed Lodio, so it's no use. And plus, of course, the given situation that is that we still have to deal with the situation of every hit that is stabbed is resisted. I think Scolopede is my go-to guy. Yeah. We're gonna go with Scolipede. Um So that's the team. Um, Scolipede could help if one speed boost should be enough for Mega Garchomp to outspeed. In worst case scenario, if Nidoking were to be scoffed. But that's the only issue, actually. Um, I don't necessarily need... Let's actually check that out. Let's go for some damaged calcs here. There's one thing I want to see. Um... If we have a hyper-defensive Venusaur, you know, that could actually happen. Um, and if so, then, you know, that's terrible. Let's see. Make Snow Mega. Mega Venusaur. Um, defensive. Probably gonna just boot that up to 252. Let's say that thing is hyper-defensive. Um, that seems very likely. And we're gonna go against Mega Garchomp. I just wanna see if uh, OU Mix. Not really. But that's the, <laughs> that's the default calc. Uh, anyway, let's see. Um, we need to, of course, Outrage. Um, ooh, outrage is. have a chance of. Um, Oh, Koing. A two hit Koing. Yeah, that, is, that is not really that good. So at least, I think I need to use a Scolipede with Sword Stance instead of Iron Offense or Offensively Built. I really need to be able to two hit KO a Venusaur. 
Um, if it is super defensive, it's going to stall me out with uh, Synthesis, and that would be all kinds of hell. I really want Dragon Claw, but I need a power here, obviously, because that is not enough. But right, that's my analysis on my next opponent. We'll see how things go from there, and you'll see that battle hopefully tomorrow. So I don't think you guys watching. I'll see you guys, well, tomorrow, obviously. So until then, take care. Bye.